Hey there guys, this is Obsidian Chill. Got another video for today. And in this one, we're finally taking a look at the third artifact that released a part of the Long Live the Legion DLC, the Computo's Redistributor HUD. Now, with this artifact, think of it like uh, the same kind of line concept as the uh, Gemma Horus or Bob Comlink, where it adds another ability trait to your power. So it is going to have to be something you have to substitute in your loadup to be able to use this ability. In terms of the stats breakdown, it is a carbon copy of the uh, Grenorum. So if you're thinking uh, as you level up, 478 Prex, 765 Might, uh, the 5% Prex, 5% Might, that's what those stats are going to be. So it's a carbon copy of that, obviously, without the pet damage. But we, what we do have is a redistributor ray. So attack up to 8 targets with fully stored energy from a computer's energy condenser. Damage done is the sum of the percentage of your Might and Precision stats combined, which is increased for every bar of energy condenser filled. Uh, this attack will drain any further fully filled bars. So what that means is it's the same principle as the uh, purple healing ray. So with this one, the purple healing ray is basically based on your restoration. So if you heal, you know, four or five times your, uh, your restoration, you gain an extra ability either on your group heal or your shield, or sorry, on your priority heal. So that's that's essentially what this is, but in terms of a damage perspective. Uh, so essentially. When you do enough might damage or prec damage or supercharge damage, uh, depending on the rank, uh, that's when you gain the ability tiers, which I'll show in the game uh, in a moment. This is just basically going through what the tiers are right now. So obviously at rank 120, we're looking at 5% of your might. So basically uh, all the damage you deal, 5% uh, of your current might stat, that's how much damage you'll take to fill the bar. Precision at 6. And then filling a uh, miter precision damage bar halfway grants 1% damage increase to each half bill, uh, half bar filled. So that one, don't necessarily read in too much in that one. Uh, with how fast it takes to fill these bars in combat, uh, you really shouldn't be focusing on half fill damage. It's, it's much better off coin for the full damage. At rank 160. Oop. Yep. It goes to 5 and 6, which stays the same. Uh, the only difference is now, at 160, you, grant, you gain an extra third bar, which would be for supercharge consumption. And the supercharge consumption, it doesn't proc until you use 10,000. So if you use, like, uh, Neo Venom or Circuit Breaker or whatever, 50% supercharge, uh, you need to use two of them to be able to fill your blue bar. Uh, or if you use one ten, uh, one 10,000, uh, it'll fill the bar all at once. And then rank 200, basically now you go to uh, 4 and 5. So it basically just gains it a bit faster. Uh, same kind of concept with Purple Healing Ray, where the higher rank it is, you're just earning it faster. So that's a lot of talking. So let's hop into the game and actually show you what this means, uh, because it it's, sounds confusing when you're reading it. It's much easier when you actually see it in actual use. Okay, so jumping straight to the game. Uh, this is what I meant by having an extra loadout ability, just like Gemma Horus or Bob Comlink. Uh, we have Distributor Ray, 4 second cooldown, 200 power costs, attack up to 8 targets with stored energy from the energy condenser. So this is something you're going to have to work into your loadout and drop another one, which will obviously change up the rotation. Uh, I do want to do a disclaimer right now. You're probably going to hear my uh, keyboard clicking, hopefully not my mouse clicking, but my keyboard clicking because of my obscenely loud Razer mechanical keyboard with the green switches, which I'll be replacing this Christmas. So I do apologize for that, but I have to do my rotation and talk about it at the same time. So, unfortunately, you're going to hear those uh, loud noises. So, essentially what I'm going to do here is show you essentially what it means by um, having a might, the might bar filled, then the prec bar filled, and then your supercharge build filled, then what the damage those will do. So, for the sake of the video, I'm going to take off this strat for now because the damage from the HUD artifact shows as white damage, so obviously it's going to get mixed up here with any crits. In terms of what artifacts you'll be running, 100% uh, is going to have the transformation card because the same concept as like Purple Healing Ray. Your crits are increased, you're doing more damage. Your overall is a bit less, but your crits are increased, you're doing more damage faster, which fills the might bar faster. Then obviously you're going to have your hard artifact. Uh, for most rotations, at least for AoE, you can drop Solar because obviously you're not going to be using Heat Vision on, on AoE. Uh, there might be some builds that use it on a ranged AoE, but obviously you can sub that out. Um, for your max damage, is probably going to be Transformation, Amulet, and HUD Artifact, just with how quickly you can fill that, and the lower power cost in HUD, so the 200 power cost is not going to really kill you with Amulet. So, the concept is here. 
So when you're a dot power set, your bar is not going to come up right away until you do enough damage to fill half the bar. So even though you start hitting powers, if you don't see your, your UI from it right away, which is uh, basically this. If you don't see it come up right away, don't be alarmed, which is why you don't see it yet. Now you see it, because I've done half the damage to fill the bar. So now it's full. So now you can see my HUD distributor is glowing blue. That means I have the might bar filled. And we'll wait for these uh, parsers to drop here so I can show you the damage. Okay, there we go. So it's kind of like a little heat vision power. And once the parcher comes back up here, we are looking at eight targets for 97,768. So about 100K damage uh, just from that artifact. They're not, it's not gonna crit, so don't worry about it. Um, or at least the damage from the HUD art artifact is not gonna crit. It's just base damage is based on how much damage you deal in that window. So there's about 100k damage, and just from one 4 second power. So same thing, so we'll do it again here, so you can see how quickly it takes to fill it. My irritation's a little bit butchered, because I don't have uh, another power to use. And same thing, it's full. You know, I can use it. Go back into my irritation. Obviously it's a little bit butchered, because I don't have an electric to use. Same thing, you can use it. See how quickly it can be gained. Same thing I can use it again. So this is just filling one bar. So you can see how quickly you can earn it uh, with my emo dots. Um, obviously, if you're say like a, a rage melee or light, or I'll show Earth as an example, you can fill it very quickly. But then the other side of it is you got to fill your prec bar too to maximize your damage. So that's where brawling comes in mind. Uh, brawling. When you max out Shuriken Storm, there might be another weapon combo out there that I'm not thinking of at the top of my head. Right now, I think Brawling Shuriken Storm Mastery is probably the ideal option for this artifact, just because of how quick the weapon mastery is. Uh, it's AoE damaged, it's multi-hit, very fast, and it's clippable. So the Shuriken Storm is basically just this. So I'll show this just filling the prec bar now. So now the prec bar is yellow. And now the prec bar is filled. And the same thing, we'll wait for the uh, any parser to drop. And the same thing. So it, you'll see the similar damage there is about 100k damage. It, it's going to be similar in terms of filling the prec bar versus filling the, the might bar in terms of the damage it does with once. So the same thing, 8 hits, it was like 97k damage. Because uh, that's only filling one bar. And obviously there's going to be prec weapons that fill it uh, faster uh, if you're a pure prec. But now mixing it together, we can show you here. So this is why Shuriken Storm Mastery is nice, because you can easily work it in into like a hybrid rotation. Now my prec's already full, and my might's full. So. We'll wait for this to uh, go down, so you now can see the distributor HUD is green, because I got two bars filled. And then I think that was it for parsers. Yeah, nothing else, so now I'll use two bars. And we'll wait for the parser to come up. So two bars was 181,136 damage. So eight hits, 22k each. Obviously, once again, zero crits, because it's not going to crit. So you saw, just for me doing a hybrid rotation, mixing in Shrook and Storm Mastery between each electric uh, power, was an extra 200, almost 200k damage. And that's any time I can hit. So I can, I can keep doing that in my rotation. Now, this may not be the, the ideal rotation to use. This is just an example. You know, there's, there's still going to be a lot of fine-tuning with this artifact, but as you can see, it really didn't take me that long. Once again, it's full. Bam, I can use it. Now I can go back into it again. Again, both are full. I can go back into it. 
and that was without me using a third artifact so putting in the Shriders card obviously it's going to increase the damage from that so now once you guys kind of see that we can kind of do a proper rotation because I just didn't want you guys to confuse the white numbers so same thing Build. See with the rotation, I'm not even really trying or, or trying to find like a proper rotation, and I'm not buffering at that and pulling out millions easily. So, with a lot of fine tuning, obviously, there's going to be much better options to use or, or using a proper rotation or proccing it faster in terms of using maybe burst instead of dot damage. But as you can see, that's the damage potential you're going to have is how how quickly you filled that. So, basically, what's that? Um, was it two, probably two rotations? And we'll probably fill it up. To, yep, full take. So two rotations, bam, 200k damage. So it, it's going to be... Now, this is, isn't going to work with every single power set where you think of, like, say, if I go to, like, Earth. Earth doesn't, when you're doing jackhammer spam, you don't really have the opportunity to mix in prep attacks. Uh, so it's one of those things where it's not going to work with every power set. So like nature is easy enough to work in shuriken storm between dots or between like uh, uh, the burst damage. Same thing with sorcery is easy to work in. The mental is a little bit harder in your rotation, but it's doable. Ice, a lot of cha fires, a lot of channel powers. Uh, gadgets, a lot of burst damage. I mean, light, you're in channels. That's difficult. Earth, you're in channels. So uh, celestial, you're in combos. Munitions, you're in channels and combos. So it, it's one of those things where it's not going to work for every single power set, uh, but for the power sets that it can in terms of like a true hybrid art, artifact, or maybe it, it's just going to take finding new rotations. Uh, it's the same thing. So you see the potential damage from it on AOE, where now I'll show you the, the supercharged damage. So once again, we'll we'll take off the strategy card. We'll just put on solar so the white damage isn't uh, covered up. And then with a, with a supercharged like Circuit Breaker, because Circuit Breaker is going to be a buff, we're going to fill the bars even faster because we're doing extra damage. So the same thing here, we'll start the rotation. And like I said before in the previous video, it's going to, or previous part, it's going to take two supercharges to fill because of uh, Circuit Breaker. So we can still use it. The Circuit Breaker is going to take 15 seconds to come back. Now we filled the blue bar, as you see the third bar. So we'll wait until these uh, parts disappear. So now I have the distributor HUD glowing yellow. And I got the prec, the might bow, the prec bar, and the supercharge bill filled. And then we'll use it. And once the parts come up. So having three bars filled, that was 312,944 damage on eight targets. So about 40k per hit. And like I said before, it's only up to eight targets. So if you're using like a massive hallway and there's going to be more than eight adds, it's only going to hit eight. So be mindful of that as well. Most of the time, there's not going to be more than eight adds unless you're in a specific raid, like say like Phoenix Cannon, uh, parts of DME. But a lot of, like when you look at like say even Fracture Godsphere regular, there's not too many times you're going to have more than eight adds. Unless you're pur like purposely pulling them all together, but like I said, just just from using uh, two fifty percenters, same thing. You could use that. You could use one ten thousand to get that. So it's it does take ten thousand to fill it, but you could use like say like a bunker buster or something like that, and it would fill that bar instantly from the one ten thousand or big gun or whatever. So you have to use two fifties or one ten thousand to get that bar filled, and then after. So imagine doing a supercharge 
that like bunker buster big gun whatever you just did a million damage now all three of your bars are filled and then you use it again and you do another 400,000 damage right after you just did your 100% super so massive damage spike back to back in your rotations so lots of potential with this artifact is just kind of fine tuning it and finding like the best rotation. Same concept with the source shard. I mean, the source shard is not bad damage whatsoever. It's just basically finding the right build and the right rotation to maximize it. So this was essentially the AOE version of it um, and how like it's, it's going to be different on single target in terms of the damage that it hits, which I'll show that uh, momentarily. I just want to show you uh, what, what this was like on AOE. So, like I said before, tons of potential, tons of damage, um, just finding the right build, and then more than likely having to stick to uh, Shuriken Storm Mastery. So, let's do the single target. Okay, so now we're taking a look at the single target side. Before, with the AOE, I was just showing examples of Might. Uh, might I was pure Might spec uh, super powered might with the extra stats and prec. Now I'm showing it from a gadgets uh, prec brony view where now I'm a weapon expert, uh, max prec with everything else in the might. So typically how like a prec DPS would spec. So I'm trying to show that even though it's a hybrid artifact, you don't have to look at um, hybrid as the damage you need to do. Uh, you're still going to be using your super powered or weapon expert depending on what you're doing. So really it's an artifact that you don't really have to change how you spec or your rotation. It's just that now you're essentially getting this free damage. So think of it where you're going to be filling these bars well faster than, uh, like drastically faster than what I'm showing here. Because in a raid, you're going to have the augment buffs. You're going to have, a, the, at least for a prec side, you're going to have the controller 20% prec buff. You're going to have a tetra buff, cog buff, the claw buff. So you're going to be filling these bars drastically faster than what I'm showing you on in a league hall. Uh, which seem, will show you how quickly you're getting that damage where essentially this is just free damage So you saw what the AOE damage was this will be the single target damage So I'm just gonna fill my bar weapon bar first. So uh, nothing fancy. I don't want to do Why am I not getting out of stealth? That's weird. All right, so we're just gonna fill the peck bar up Just to show you what it's gonna look like on single target Whatever reason, it's test servers are really not like in stealth. Standing. Jesus. Okay, prec bar is filled, and you saw a 46k hit. So that's one bar out of three being filled. So full prec bar, it's a free 46k hit. And like they said, the advantage, at least with gadgets, is that um, let's stop the enormous sound in the background from you guys. But at least the advantage with gadgets is that you don't have to change your, anything with your loadout uh, because you ha you can put a distributor hub on stealth. So redistributor ray, sorry. So same thing with mental. So mental and gadgets, you're not changing your rotation around where other powers, you have to factor in this new ability, which kind of throws things off. As electric, you saw that threw a little bit of things off in terms of the might spec. But you don't have to change anything with gadgets. You can still do the triple clip or quad clip for the uh, prec DPS of doing that. I'm not going to show you the quad clip because I'm just going to butcher it because I haven't been gadgets prec in forever. So there's no point. And stealth is being weird. Uh, so I'm not sure why stealth is being weird and taking forever to kick out. So it'd just be awkward showing the quad clip. But same thing. It still allows you to do that. And distributor ray, you can hit. Um, not jump cancel, but you can hit it on the way down. Uh, so it's, a, it's not going to cancel itself. Like There's no channel ability to it. So, uh, while I was talking, so let's show both bills, uh, both bars build now. So, you know, stealth's probably going to be a bitch here. Too bad. Bars filled. So 107k damage. So 170k hit with both bars filled. And like I said before, in a raid, you have all those extra buffs. So your might powers are going to be hitting harder. You'll be able to fill the bar. You should be able to fill the bar every 12 seconds. Um, 
when I was messing around with a friend on test server. This is back when uh, the artifact first came out that I should have this video released. But uh, we are filling the bar of roughly about every 12 seconds, uh, which lines up exactly with stealth. So just imagine if you can fill your Martin Prec bar every 12 seconds, every 12 seconds you have a, you'd have a 107k hit or like, you know, around that damage, like 100k free damage every 12 seconds uh, as gadgets prec in terms of that rotation. So just imagine what you can do with that single target damage, by the way. Like obviously, it would still if there was a boss with adds, then yes, it would it hit up to eight, eight targets. So say if the same thing if I did that rotation here, it's not going to hit single target. It's going to hit on every target up to eight. But if there's just one boss like Trigon or Mordor or anything without the adds, that's uh, 107k damage or 100k damage free on single target damage. So that's without you doing anything. That's just with an artifact. So now let's show three bars. So we get uh, back to full here. Why stealth is being so awkward today on test? Probably because it knows I'm making a video, and then I suck with prec anyway. You can see how fast I'm filling the prec bar up. Awkward with stealth. Okay, so now I got both bars filled. Let's put Bunker Buster out. And as said before, I've got both bars filled for three. But my prep bar just disappeared there for some reason. Uh, I guess I ran out of time on the prep. Okay, now I have both bars filled. And. Right there. So 100. So three bars filled. That was 180k damage. So like I said before, it just because I used a 10,000 supercharge with Bunker Buster, you don't have to use Bunker Buster. You could use Neo Venom, but uh, Neo Venom you would take two of them. So then put the cooldown. Obviously, then you're looking at 90 seconds worth of uh, cooldowns. So you could only use that 100k hit every 90 seconds. Where obviously you could fill your supercharge. Uh, you'll be using the distributor ray more often. But that's just with prec, because uh, with Neo Venom boost. But you could use a fissation gas, whatever. It just takes two fifties, uh, or it's going to take one one hundred. So it just depends on the situation there. So like I said before, so it was like 47, 48 k, uh, one bar, two bars was hundred k, three bars was one hundred eighty k, and that's essentially that's free damage. You don't have the, you're not changing your rotation. You're still using supercharges. You're still using stealth clips. I um, mean, you're still using tornado pull and taser pull. So it's it's the same rotation you're doing. It doesn't change. It's just that every 12 seconds now you have an ability to use that's just going to give you free damage. So same thing. It, it's even if you're in your single target build. Like say for example, um, you want to stay heavy single target, taser pull single target, tornado pull single target. You don't have any AOE damage for like say say your trigon and the ads come out and the eyes come out. Uh, on this build here, there's no AOE damage, so you're focusing just on trigon. But now you have your re uh, redistributor ray to act as that AOE damage. So say with trigon and the eyes are out, you have you hit redistributor ray with three with three bars. Now you're doing massive damage, you're similar to what I do with electric, like the 400k damage, you're doing 400k on all the ads. So that's that's free AOE damage that you have that you wouldn't have normally with a gadget rotation. So you still have your supercharge damage, and now you have free AOE damage update targets. So it's just, it, it's it's an artifact that, it's similar to kind of like Lamort. Well, actually, actually a lot better than Lamort. It's just one of those things where it's going to take some fine tuning to find like the right builds. But like I said, it's free damage, especially for gadgets and not having to change your rotation up. With might, it gets a little bit trickier having to lose a power. But same thing. It's just essentially a limited potential. You have so much more potential running this HUD artifact, especially because there's not really dropping many stats because it's got the same stats as Grim. You got 5% might, 5% prec. And then you got all this free damage from doing a normal rotation. You're still filling your might bars. You're still filling your prec bars. You can fill it way faster in content from all the buffs you're going to have. And you're still using supercharge. So you don't have to change anything you're doing as a DPS. And you're getting all this extra free damage. So like I said, the only downside is that when there's more than eight targets, which is rare. This just depends on the raid. Like Phoenix Cannon, it, you're still going to do a lot of extra damage. But you wouldn't normally because you're going to be missing a whole bunch of targets. Like there's, there was easily like 15, 20 ads sometimes in those hallways where you're only going to hit eight. 
So that's the only downside, but I mean, that's only in specific raids or if the tank is just pulling a bunch of ads. So um, there's one extra thing I want to cover on this artifact, but like I said before, this is the highest potential artifact we have in a while. It's just going to take some specific builds. It's going to take either gadgets or mental where you don't have to lose a power. It's 100% going to take brawling uh, as a, um, at least in my sense, is going to take brawling unless you want to be melee with one handed flurry. But even with brawling, you can still get away with dual because you can use explosive shot. It's just going to be slower. But uh, you can do with dual explosive shot between powers. So it's going to be 100% dual wield and brawling, uh, maybe one handed. But like I said before, even though it's a hybrid artifact, you really don't have to change that much from what you're actually doing already. So let's cover the uh, one last thing here and then we'll get you on your way. Okay, so I did want to mention this as like a full disclosure part uh, based on my conversations with Batuba and, and based on what the testers have seen. But if you hadn't have gone to the forums and seen that, then you would have known. Uh, there is a bug with the artifact where pets will fill the prec bar. So we'll just kind of pop Grim out here. Um, I guess it's based on the, the current tech that they can't be fixed or how it's coded, but um, I just wanted to make you aware of that so there's no, you know, obsidians keeping DPS secrets from us. So it is slow going when you pop just like a Grim or Robot Psychic, or as you can see there, the bar just filled. So um, it fills much faster if obviously if you're summoning like a Trinket Pet, like say you're doing like a Boo Utility Belt, or any kind of damage trinket, because uh, the, obviously that pet damage is much higher. As you can saw, boom, bar's already filled. I can do my single target burst or AoE, doesn't matter. And then it's going to go back out. And then the issue with that is that the pet, since obviously Gwenorm is always out, Robot Psychic can be always out. Uh, and then along with these ones like Backup or, or the uh, Trinket Pets are up for 60 seconds. So it just gives you that much extra bonus to fill your uh, your Prec Power up. And especially if you're a Might Power Set or Hybrid, then uh, Prec is usually where you're going to fill it up the slowest because of the lower Prec because you're Spec Full Might. Same thing, Boom, I can use it again. So that's a kind of an issue right now. Uh, hopefully it'll be fixed in the future, but I just want to make you aware of that. Um, not only as like a tip to fill your prep bar faster, but it's just as a full disclosure thing as well. So uh, this may tip the kind of the balance in terms of like a God Wave build or Source Star build or Quizlet build. Uh, you'd have to kind of play around with that uh, because you're still using my powers for proc god wave and then you'd have the uh, pet damage fill your prec bar faster so then you can use the pet damage for prec and then your might for might and this um, not really running supercharged for god wave but it may not work out uh, that just may be me just thinking off the top of my head but that's uh, what you're expecting there or what you can see with the pet damage so just want to let you know <laughs>